Okay. <laughs> Now it's rocky. Kapan kapan nito ako dito. Oh kasi ano na yung pag naka L na siya. Start up kami na itong ano guys. 93E. Ayan. Ito 93E. Dalawang unit guys, ayan. Ito yung likod nyo guys. Line 1, line 2, line 3. Ayan. Tapos neutral nya. kapit na guys yung mga battery ito ikabit na rin yung string ng battery guys ito na yan ilang string to? 6 na string ng battery So, kompleto pala, ano? Ito ang isa rin, ganun. Ayan. So, ano yung na-string, guys, ng battery? Ayan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan siya. Ito sa baba. So, ayan. Uh, start up tayo, guys. Uh, power on ng main breaker Ito, uh, input five pass so ayun so on on speed battery disconnected yeah, disconnected ng battery so i-on natin yung breaker ng battery Uh, we need to, ano, uh, we need to configure first the UPS before we proper start up. Okay. Go to setting icon, then service. Ito, na natin yung password. Okay. Yung password. Okay. So, so, set natin ng 
So, ito muna guys, uh, setting ng ano, mga Adjus, ano, then 7, 20, 23, date, tsaka then, time. Anong oras tayo? 2 o'clock, ano siya? 14. 14 ano? 20. 21. 21. Okay. Ayan, save. output so set ng output so 230 although this output is configurable from 220 230 or 240 na so we need uh, to choose the default which is the 230 output frequency is the U this Philippines 60 hertz okay no need to change the configuration okay the last one is I need to change the password then service of course the battery Yan. since uh, our UPS has a 16 of batteries therefore we need to change this to 6 the, numbers, no, the number of strings is depends on the number of uh, strings installed in the UPS okay? Okay. 6 strings for a 40 kVA the standard uh, guys this is the string uh, for RN okay. the number of cells okay since we have uh, 36 blocks per string the times 6 is equal to 216 okay set that in let's set on the 216 and the standard uh, charging for a uh, 40 kV is around 10 amperes okay. I thought that is 10.6 so for your current charging guys 10.6 okay. of course once you configure you have to execute to change the configuration okay. although there's a lot of configuration for the EEP that we need to uh, configure are we going to continue for the for your video? Okay. okay. Nag? Action. Okay. Action. Action. This now, uh, we are now going to proper start of the UPS. Of course, before start, go to controls. Okay. And then, we have two types of start of the UPS. Either from load up to normal or load up to bypass. Of course, for us, much better to start up by load off to bypass. Okay. Then press execute or enter button. Okay. I will not go into save the The password, but it is already. Okay. So you can see the UPS is now on bypass. The UPS now is applying the load with bypass source, the same like a utility source okay then if you want to start up the UPS into a normal mode or online mode then go back to contrast again and by this time we have two types of uh, command that we can do for the UPS for example we are now on bypass of course if either you are going to ship the UPS into normal and to totally shut down since we are on startup, of course, we're going to bypass to normal. Then wait for the initialization of the UPS. Let's wait for the clicking of the uh, contactors. Okay. The UPS is now working on normal mode. Let's see on the status bar. Okay, and then when you if you want to see the parameters on our UPS, okay, this is the output. We have output of 230 volts. That is in line to line. Huh? And if you want to see the uh, line to line voltage of the UPS, just press the right button. 
Yeah, you will see the line to line voltage of UPS. The same with input, like this. Input, since we are now on the line to line, and we can shift it into line to neutral and to 30 volts. That's all. If you want to brush again, you will see the bypass voltage, the battery voltage. It's BTR means the battery time remaining. Since we have no load yet, uh, we have, of course, it's, it's uh, max, so almost uh, 786 minutes at no load. Okay. It's on, and we will proceed on the main menu. That is the standard uh, menu of our UPS. You can see the highlighted line means that the UPS in that particular mode. Okay. We're going to simulate for, uh, like, for example, a Burnout simulations, and you will see this line will become lighter, just like this, and the line will become here from battery going to Let's proceed okay. to the another UPS. So, yeah. so we will continue for the startup guys for this particular UPS 2. English, English. <laughs> Control, bypass. Load, load up to bypass. Okay. Password. <laughs> For the password, guys, uh, we don't uh, we block the video for that. So, uh, for startup, uh, we select the go to bypass. Now, the UPS is on bypass mode. So, you see, bypass to normal and bypass to turn off. So, it's uh, two options. So, for go to normal, you will normalize the UPS. So the UPS were turning on to normal when we, you hear the clicking sound. Yeah, that's the inverter, guys. So you see the uh, the status, the status here is a uh, unit is in normal. So when you see the green light, the UPS is on no normal mode. Uh, then uh, inver uh, rectifier, then inverter battery. So the highlighted bar is on normal. So that's it, guys. Uh, for the two UPS, is on normal mode. Pero madaling naman kasi hindi naman kailangan ni Shotgun. Pwede ka naman bago. Ibig, ibang na lang natin. This is the breaker guys. 
Uh, UPS 1 and UPS 2. Setting. Uh, setting. Setting juga. Okay. Dan. Then right side bar. Up. Down. Go to controls. Dan. Disable the password. Dan. Disable the password. Sempre para. Hindi na magulhoy niya ng user na i-press pa yung apat bago sa akin. Every time na mag-turn on ng turn to inverter mode, you press the password. Although meron pa siyang one choice, kumbaga yung parang redundant si check for you. Kung gusto mo talagang confirmation. Tulad na, just like what you see before. Okay. Normal to bypass. So, no password for that. But if you want to... This is your last confirmation. Of course, UPS ask for a confirmation of yes or no. Then if you want to execute the yes, so hindi agad mapapatay ng client yung load. Unless you execute on the yes. Proper shutdown. Because you have to shut down the UPM so that all the contactors will be open. So this guy is on proper shutdown now. That's all for the shutdown. And then, of course, turn up all the switches. So, first, the input the side. Switch. Then, the bypass. bypass. And last, for the battery breaker. switch breaker. And if you want to totally shut down of the system, you need to turn off the off input the breaker. There it goes. That's so, all. This guy. The UPS is totally shut down. Okay, that's all for today's video. That's all. Thank you and bye bye. Uh, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Mr. C. So shout out dito kila mam. Ayan, kawai kawai. <laughs>